Yet, when this man was alive, this man was, a, was supposed to be a pastor. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, he, was stood, he stood behind his pulpit, you know, people, some of the artists in the world sang for him, you know, ah, he's the pastor of um, um, so-so and so woman. He's the pastor of so-so and so man. This man will do miracles, move his hands, and things will happen, but he was rooted in the occultic. So I am certain and persuaded that many people are going to miss the rapture. Now, I want you to also know that many people have said that, okay, when the rapture happens, there is no more hope for those people who miss the rapture. There is hope because people will still be giving their life to Jesus here. The only difference I will explain to you is that in the space of that seven years, there is also going to be a fierce persecution that will come against the Christian faith. Many people will lose their life in between. You will come to the fore at that time, and many people will be required and requested to renounce the lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ for them to move on. Am I communicating with you? Okay? Some of the things that has been experienced in the northern parts of Nigeria today, Sokoto, Maiduguri, and all of these things, where people enter into church, but maybe Islamist fundamentalist, or in some instance, maybe some wicked people just get into the church, and then they begin to slaughter people, kill people, kill children. Now, to let you know that we are, we are living in the last days, the hearts of men are so hard that there's no compassion even for children. They get into schools and they start slaughtering children without compassion. They enter into churches and they get the pastor to lie down, face ground. When I, I went to Benin recently, and um, my dad told me that in his church, thieves came to their church during vigil. And the pastor of the church just came back from the United States. No, no, the, the husband of the pastor, the pastor is a woman, just came back from the United States. And while he was there, they were having vigil, they were praying. These guys came in, about nine of them, and when they came in, they got everybody face down and started collecting phones from everybody. Bring your phone. Where's your offering? Where's your offering? Where's your tithe? Where's your tithe? And they were collecting phones and collecting offerings, collecting phones and offerings. And then the pastor's husband, I think, tried to keep something. They gave him a very hot slap. Of course, you don't need anybody to tell you that the following video, nobody attended. There used to be a, a fear. There used to be this honor for what you call the house of God. It's not exactly so anymore. In Bayelsa, it's a commonplace thing for you to hear that armed robbers enter into church in the, in a, on, on Sunday morning, made away with money, shot people, slapped pastor, broke his teeth, collected offering back. Where did you keep the offering? Bring the offering. Why? Because false men have entered into the pulpit and the church has a funny name now. Am I communicating with you? And so these are signs of the end. And so the Bible tells us that seven years, the rapture is going to happen. After, after the rapture has taken place, there's going to be seven years space. Then the second coming of the Lord Jesus. When the Lord comes the second time, what is he coming to do? He's coming to engage in war. Am I communicating with you? Now, I don't have much time, so I'm giving you a summary. I've taught, taught this over and over again. At the School of Discipleship, we're going to take it fully again. We'll make it maybe a five-hour teaching, step by step, verse by verse. All right? But I think as a pastor, the owner slides on me to let you know some things. Okay? That once the rapture has taken place, those of us who are in Christ just gone to the air to meet with the Lord, and then from the air we go back to heaven. The next event that is going to happen, two events will be happening simultaneously, the Bible tells us. One is the marriage supper of the Lamb, and secondly, the great tribulation on the face of the earth. While we are in heaven having the marriage supper of the Lamb with the Lord Jesus, and uh, the judgment seat of Christ will be taking place. Within that seven years, while people are still languishing here and suffering here, the beast is dealing with Christians who, have, who missed the rapture and is dealing with the nation of Israel too. Those of us who have gone to heaven will be experiencing the marriage supper of the Lamb and we will be at the judgment seat of Christ. At the judgment seat of Christ, that is where Christians are going to receive their rewards. The reward for service, the reward for faithfulness, the reward for evangelism. And the Bible tells us that there are at least five different crowns that people receive. There's the incorruptible crown for victors. There's the 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 25. There's the crown of glory for elders. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 2 to 4. There's the crown of righteousness for those who love his appearing. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. There's the crown of rejoicing for soul winners. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 19 to 20. And then there is the crown of life for matters. Revelations chapter 2, verse 10. Acts chapter 7, verse 54 to 60. 
Now, these are crowns. Now, when you read, when you look at the interpretations of this, okay, you'll find out that the word crown there is actually the word medal. This crown is going to be given at the judgment seat of Christ. This word is also referred to as the Bema judgment. Now, this Bema judgment is going to be happening at that seven years space where the tribulation is going on here on the face of the earth, okay, where people are being brutalized and the Antichrist is dealing serious blows on people. Am I communicating with you? While all of that is going on here, we as God's people are in heaven at the marriage supper of the Lamb, okay? While that is going on, the Bema judgment will also be going on. People are being rewarded for the works they did. As a pastor, how did you serve the Lord? What was the message you taught? Why did you preach the message you taught? You taught? Could you have done more than you have done or what you did when you were there? Now, you see, this is where, this is where people who serve God partially, who serve God half-heartedly, this is the day when they are going to cry. Yes, I believe that people say, oh, there is no tears in heaven. I don't think so. There, there is the tear of sorrow that is not the sorrow of anguish, of torment. That you got to heaven and you saw that you would have collected gold, but now you are being given wood. Why? You didn't exert yourself. You are a young man, you are in your 30s, you are in your 40s, you are in your 50s, and you are not stretching yourself to the limit to serve God. Listen, before every man will die, he will have an opportunity of regretting or thanking God. It's my experience seeing old people in bed that when they are in bed, they always have this, they always reminisce and say, you know what, ah, if I'd known, I would have done more for God. If I'd known. Have you seen eight people and say, ah, you are lucky, at 20 you have known these things and you're already running with it. On your deathbed, when you are old and you can't carry your leg, carry your body, even if you can, you remember when you see youth, you will envy youth if you didn't spend your youth well. Am I communicating with you? This is the time to give it all up. Give it up. Give up anything that will not allow you to give your best to the Lord. Exert yourself. You are called to be a preacher. Pick the Bible up and teach it the way no other person will teach it. You are called to be a choir leader. Bring the Holy Ghost down. Lead people into God's presence. You are called to do anything you are called to do. Give your best to God because the Bema judgment is going to happen. And it's going to happen that seven years when the Antichrist is dealing with people here, the Bema judgment is happening. Now, at the end of that seven years, the Bible tells us that there's going to be a second coming of the Lord. Now, at that second coming, notice one of the major differences between the rapture and the second coming is at the rapture, the Lord is coming to take away the righteous from the wicked. At the second coming, the Lord will take the wicked away from the righteous. Am I communicating with you? Do you understand what I'm saying? Because at the second coming, the Bible tells us that he's going to come with the saints. Now, these saints is coming with are the saints that have been raptured. And they are also the ones that are going to be made rulers over cities, over territories, who are going to rule with him in the regeneration. If you remember the question that one of the disciples asked, he said, we who have left everything to follow you, what are we going to get? He said, don't worry, you are going to get houses, you are going to get a hundredfold of everything you have given up with persecution in this age. Am I communicating with you? And so there is, I've mentioned the crowns. Now the crowns there are medals, not crowns of the head. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there is going to be judgment also. The seven years is also judgment for the nation of Israel. Mention that. Okay, at the end of these seven years, the church that had been raptured with the Lord will come back and uh, the Bible tells us that God is going to enter in. Jesus is going to come to judge nations of the earth. He's going to judge them, especially based on the way they dealt with the nation of Israel. That is the reason why the, 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 the focus of the rapture and the focus of the second coming are two different things. The focus of the rapture is the church. It is coming for you and me. At the second coming, part of his focus is the nation of Israel. And when it comes at that time, it is you and I that will come. Now, you know, the Bible says he's going to have war with his enemies. He's not going to have war. It's not going to be a war. It's going to be a beat down. You have war with an equal. 